So today we're having a preview of the new Samsung Galaxy S21 series. Like last year, Samsung have came up with three variants of the Samsung Galaxy S21 series. The S21, the S21 Plus, and the S21 Ultra. And the S21 Ultra now comes with S Pen support. For this year, there's actually not a lot of difference between the S21 and the S21 Plus. Both devices will have triple rear camera system and the main difference this time will be the battery capacity, the screen size, and the S21 Plus will have the ultra wide band enabled features. The ultra wide band is used for the new Samsung SmartThings Find feature where you can detect missing Samsung devices or items and pets tagged with the Galaxy Smart Tags. So with the SmartThings Find, you can track all your devices via GPS and detect the items based on the signal strength when you are near it. Or you can just turn on the beeper to find any hidden devices. That's pretty neat, right? I mean, this type of GPS tagging is not new lah, huh? but it's great that Samsung is having it now. And if you are looking for the major differences between the S20 series and the S21 series of the smartphone, the night mode is very well improved on the S21 series. Just check out this comparison of S20 and S21 camera performance in pitch dark condition. Impressive, right? Another major difference between last year's model and this year's model, there will be no charger in the box. Yes, inside the box, there will be only the phone and a cable. Is that a bummer for you? The S21 series will also have advanced vlogging features like Single Take 2.0 that lets you take a video clips from 5 to 15 seconds and generate an array of pictures and videos from the video clip. With 2.0, it also comes with new dynamic slow motion and highlight reel. And all these are created using AI to help you get the best Instagram worthy shots without much effort. There's also the new director view feature where you can use both the front and the rear camera to record a footage without missing any moments while filming. Samsung had also improved the stabilization of video recording with improved super steady mode. Now, space zoom have been improved to minimize shaky hands and capture clearer shots at 30 times zoom and more. The new Exynon processor chip on the S21 series, the CPU is also 20% faster than its predecessor. GPU is 35% faster and AI processing power is up to two times. That's quite a lot of difference. The new Samsung S21 series will also support Wi-Fi 6E. But for Singapore, IDA has not approved the usage of Wi-Fi 6E yet. So there's no rush for that. The new S21 series also comes with Eye Comfort Shield, which will reduce the blue light emitted so that it will help you with the reduction of eye fatigue when using your phone for long hours. Now let's talk about the premium of premium, the S21 Ultra. Out of all the three devices, the S21 Ultra seems to be getting a few more features and improvements as well. For example, now you do not need to worry about that you can't view the screen under glaring sunlight. That's because it's now using the dynamic AMOLED 2X display, which is having a 1500 nit. That's the brightest display Samsung has ever built for a smartphone. And the contrast of this screen had also been bumped up to 3 million is to 1. With the new S Pen support, you can now scribble your thoughts like you do on the Galaxy Note smartphones. There will be no slots for you to keep the S Pen on the phone, but Samsung had came up with the casing for you to protect your phone as well as keeping the S Pen. The S Pen do not require any charging, so that means the pen is not battery operated. Once you have the pen hover on the screen, the S Pen command will actually appear on the screen as easy as that. And if you have an existing S Pen from a Note or a Galaxy Tab device, you can still use those S Pen for the S21 Ultra and it will work just fine. The design of the new S21 series is pretty chic. The Phantom Violet with the gold metallic essence really looks great together. And if you like the Phantom Pink, that's actually an exclusive for the S21 and it will not be available on the Plus or the Ultra. Personally, I think that the Phantom Silver's press images did not give it justice. Its multi-tone finish only reflects well in real life, 
and it's actually subtly chic. And the Phantom Silver got my vote for the best colour in the S21 series. What are your thoughts? So if you like this quick review, remember to like and share with your friends. And if you have any questions for us, please leave it down in the comment section below. See you next time. Bye.